Today on Drawly, we are drawing animals in Victorian era garments. Beautiful. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, um, this is quite the prompt. Yes. Uh, this was your your brilliant idea. I think we initially were imagining frogs, which is a popular Victorian animal combination. Oh, why is that? Um, because they look so proper, and frogs have such funny mouths that such they funny mouths. they look very funny, all blown up as uh, Victorian creatures. You're probably right. That's now, probably what right. you can also see a lot of as Victorian um, garb animals is now pets. There's a lot of Etsy services. Where yeah, you, uh, while I was looking for references, I saw quite a few. Mm-hmm. Where they'll put your pet in Victorian garb for for a, a small fee. A, I don't know if it's a small fee. I would hope it's not too small of a fee. It's probably a, a, a large feat of work. So what are you doing to tackle this? Because this is a pretty tall order. I mean, people pay for this, for their pets. Right, I mean, we're such experienced artists that this is gonna be, I mean, this is gonna take no time at all. Uh, we've decided that this one will probably be a three or four episode. At least three is what we're thinking. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not really sure yet. <laughs> we're gonna play it by ear. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of just doing a fox head on a human body, but um, we'll see how that develops over time. What about you? I am familiarizing myself with the shape language of bulls. Mm, yes. That's yes, a load I of am. bull. No, it's not. And let me <laughs> tell you why, because one time I saw somebody else do this. She said she was getting ready to draw maybe like polar bears or make a polar bear yeah. art. Yeah, she? I think it was a she. Yeah, who was it? I don't remember. It was on YouTube though, so there was a voice ah, okay. associated. Okay. So, okay. so this person, who shall remain nameless because I cannot remember their name, <laughs> uh, drew several polar bears. They pulled up several references and just did very simple sketches. And they did better than I did at like just trying to break them down into simple shapes. Mm -hmm. The head of a bull is not a simple shape. Well, that is what I've learned today already. We've um, learned so much. We've come so far in such a short time. Right. And so at the end of that session, what she did was, so she had a few different um, polar bears. There's definitely polar bears. She ended up, I think, pulling elements from each of them because she was like, oh, yeah, they have a triangle here, legs here, blah, blah, blah. She had the shapes broken down really well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not... Wow. A bull is such an amorphous creature. So amorphous. It's all the muscle. The rippling muscle is what it is that throws me off. We'll just focus on those big shapes. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. What happened? And what so, happened with them, their polar bears? Oh, she drew a very nice polar bear in the end. And what did you learn from that video? To sketch several bulls before I settle in on this project for real. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're, you're like doing some studies before mm -hmm. you even get Brief in. Brief studies. Like I've already finished one and I'm about to wrap up this one. Okay. I, um, I like that. That's cool. But you know, I'm learning like, hey, bulls have kind of a hit point over around the top of their thighs on their front or whatever that point on a bull is called. Uh, I'm learning that their heads are very tall, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think this will all come into play when I still end up working off a very specific reference. And maybe I wouldn't have needed to do this after all. <laughs> However, I, I figure, you know, the more practice, the better. And this way I'll be really warmed up and ready for when I start on the You are going to be very warmed up and ready to make a bull. Mm -hmm. I'm just blocking it all out, getting in, getting in my big blocks of color. Started off with a simple sketch. I'll probably add some more deets later. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just working off of the clothing from these two dudes over here. I really wanted to do the frills around the neck. I don't know if you have decided one way or the other. Uh, my guy won't have frills on his neck. I thought that a bull was so distinguished and dignified mm. that I should do a Victorian general. Oh. So I googled images of Victorian generals. Cool. And chose one. And so now I have that image to work off of. I like it. I'm already becoming much more acquainted with the shape language of a bull. <laughs> His head has this big front plate on it uh -huh. with two like swoopy side planes. It's all about the swoopy side planes. They make a very nice shape though, a nice kind of curvy shape. Whoop. Whoop. Um, oh goodness. Oh, oh goodness, Grabus. What happened? 
My layers have gotten all out of whack. Oh no. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be really cool. Um, we've been wanting to do uh, a longer form mm -hmm. video. We really enjoyed it last time we did with the portraits. Uh, yes, we did some portraits, and um, for better or worse, we did have fun on that. Mm -hmm. And we will have fun on this one too. It will be great. My layers are all out of order. There we go. I'm happy with that now. I got it all organized. Good. Now, because this is gonna be, you know, I, I'm just gonna smoosh it. I'm just gonna do it now. I'm not even gonna think about it. Mm -hmm. There's no time. I don't like wanna sit here and try to organize a million layers, mm -hmm. so I'm just not. I'm just not gonna deal with it. I like it. That's a very, like you're gonna be practicing a very efficient workflow here. Mm -hmm. Yes. The professional workflow of very get it done efficient. on a timely manner. Now I'm going to try to figure out these swoopy guys over here. Mm -hmm. I've done these swoopy guys. I've sculpted these swoopy boys before. No one really knows what they're actually called. It's been lost to time. Oh, uh, well. No one really knows what they're called, Abby. It's okay. been lost to time. It's been lost to time in the in the. It's sense been of, lost. I mean, I used to know and I forgot it. So exactly. in that sense, it has been lost to time, but Don't, only my. If brief anybody time. pretends like they knows in the it, like they know in the comments, like we know they're lying because it's been. Been it's been lost the time. time. It's been lost. We'll never know. There's just nothing left over from that era that could have told us. No written words. Funny how we didn't develop the written word until 2007. Yeah, <sighs> I mean, you'd think we would have came up with it sooner, but mm -hmm. but nope. That's not how we did. So uh, I am creating the Swoopy Boy. It's gonna be really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm really excited about it. Very swoop, very boy. Very, like. very beautiful. Um, although, how I'm going to go about it, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm a little, a little concerned. Let's see. I should like get in and take a, oh, what's going on? Take a closer look at this shape. I have decided on which bowl I will use for my final uh, reference. Oh yeah? The true reference, yes. It's actually the first one I started with, which is a good clue that that's going to be the one it was ever going to be, simply, you know, because I was most drawn to this bowl out of all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat the sketch process, I think. Um, I was happy with my sketch, but that was a quick study, and I want this to be already that much more uh, refined in my intentions. Um, yeah. I am, uh... I don't know why, I probably shouldn't focus on this part too much right now, but it seems like a part that's going to become much more complex later. So mm -hmm. if I just like tackle some of it now, I'll be able to come back to it later. I feel like this is going to be like one of the hardest parts though of this thing, the, the like folding of this crazy fabric. You know, we have not done like a ton of fabric in, or at least I haven't. Mm -mm. And this thing is like, whew. It's very fabric-y. I know, the reference I chose for my Victorian garb is very complex with like a lot of sashes and bandoliers probably. Yeah, I'm not gonna do like Whatever a all those terms ton, are. But I, yeah, I wanna things. simplify it for sure. Gotta simplify. I am, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that mine's gonna turn out amazing though. <laughs> I, I already really like you know, just the basic stuff that I have, like mm -hmm. already just the layout, the proportions of it all. I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Now, how how does one project such a shape backwards in the, the 3D space as it is called? I've heard. Project it backwards? Project huh? it backwards? Project, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. I don't know, I, I don't even know what that means, to project it backwards. Well, take a look at my screen. Here's these ruffles and I'm, uh -huh. you know, oh. following their shape. You know, I'm... Oh, I see what you mean now. These, I see your intention. These are, are ruffles, are folds, and um, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make them more believable. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've never done, I, I'm just kind of outlining it, kind mm -hmm. of how I would like make it if it was sculpted. 
That's funny because I've actually taken the time to paint folds like that that were originally a sculpt. Mm -hmm. And um, here, if we pause for a moment, I'll pull it open on my screen. Pause, please. Uh, I never finished this, but um, you can see I worked out well. It's very poorly. I did this a long time ah, ago. I do remember that. And yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't thrilled with how I was mm. doing, but I feel your pain because obviously I never quite figured it out. Uh, yeah, that one's very blocky. I've, I, I kind of wanted to reduce the density of this, but I always go overboard with this kind of thing, and that's just that's just how it how it be sometimes. Ben, you always go overboard with these kinds of things. It's true. That's what I'm. I mean, that's what I just said. <laughs> mm, I didn't hear it. So I'm locking back in this next this bowl once more. I just want him to be right, you know. I want him to be a good a good a good well bowl. locked in bowl. I I feel it. I am right there with you. Um, I'm going to probably not even get into shading in this one. I feel like. I'm so ingrained. I have no idea where I'm going to get in this one. I'm just gonna let the the sands let the, of time. Yeah, take let the me canvas just lead you. Let mm -hmm. the let the creature guide you. Let the pen be your hand. The idea of just getting where I get by the end of this episode is always so um interesting to me. I'm so used to like, oh okay, it's time to wrap it up. Whatever it is, it is, okay? You know? But and, yeah, we're gonna take a little longer. Yeah. Here. I'm doing some very boring lines, but once I get into shading on this, I'm really I'm gonna be really excited for it. I think it's gonna be really cool. That that's actually working, kind of reading better than I thought, and that'll really actually help me shade a lot more. Mm -hmm. Like what I've done here. Take a look so far. I feel like it's kind of confusing to look at, but it makes sense to me. Going in with all those lines at the get go. Yeah. yeah, I mean it makes sense if you squint really are. Mm -hmm. So like just do a little, just just do a little squint there, there and it'll be fine. It's all fine. Art is meant to be squinted at, you know. Back then they didn't have as, you know, as nice a vision correction as we do now. So really all art is meant to be squinted at just a little. Mm. Speaking of vision correction. <laughs> oh my gosh. I went to get my eye appointment the other day and Ben, I was going to run errands after my eye appointment. Because I could still see, because they dilated my eyes, right? If, if you've ever had an eye appointment and they dilated your, your eyes, you know what I'm talking about. But I went to go, and I've never had an issue with it. Like, I've always been able to carry on with my day anyway. And I could see far away, just fine. But I went to look at my phone to look at directions to go to my next errand. I couldn't see my phone at all. Like, it was all one big blur, so I had to. I texted you because... Because you were blind. Because I was blind, and I just said, I hope I'm spelling this right, or I think I'm spelling yeah, this right. Yeah, like, when you texted me, I was like, what? That must have been what? so weird. <laughs> I was like, what are you... What is going on I was like, you should here? not be driving right now. But that was the weird part. It was I could see everything, like, farther than a foot away was crystal clear. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely crystal clear. I don't know if I believe you. Well, I believe me. I wouldn't drive if I thought there was any danger to myself mm -hmm. or others. I don't know. Why don't you know that? I feel like you would drive anyway. I feel no, like, I feel like I you'd YOLO not. it. I no, like... I would not YOLO driving. <laughs> Driving's not a YOLOing sort of thing you should do. I don't know. You might. Uh, you might. Risky. Risk it for the biscuit. Mm -mm. Risky biscuit. Anyway, I couldn't see the directions to the next place, so we went together. And you read me the directions on the way. Mm -hmm. It's a fun time. Fun little pizza adventure. Oh yeah, because we were picking up tossed out pizza dough. And Which sounds like thrown out, by the way. I mean, you like, could probably phrase it that way. What? No, I mean like garbage. Oh, I don't think you tossed understand. out yeah, pizza dough. That's what oh. it sounds like. It sounds like it's trash. <laughs> well, we were dumpster diving behind our local do Domino's pizza. No. Yeah, like um, it, it does. Like, at least to me, that's what it sounds like it means. <laughs> we went to a pizza place that sells uh, dough balls. Like, you can buy the the ingredients, you know, without having them cooked for you. Mm -hmm. A little counterintuitive, but it's all the rage right now. I guess, because they, it must be, because they wanted to charge the full price of a pizza for one of them. They, but we did a little work around. They just, often do, yeah. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't make sense. Um, but we did a little work around and ended up getting a pretty good deal, I felt like. 
on just ingredients and dough balls. It was fun. And then we had people over and we topped them. We topped the people, yes. We topped them all. Oh my gosh. And we topped the pizzas. Pepperoni for you. Not, f yes. For me, though, it was delicious. It was figs and goat cheese. Abby's gross fig pizza. Onion, balsamic glaze, basil. And then as the base, it wasn't even pizza sauce. It was just olive oil and minced garlic. Ooh. And I loved it. I also like weird pizza with pineapple on it. I don't know if anybody else is a pineapple pizza fan, but I definitely am. Mm -hmm. I do. Oh, I put some pineapple on a little bit of it, and that was really good, too. You put pineapple on your fig pizza? Just a little bit. I wanted to see how, if I would like it. So I only added like three pieces and lo and behold, it was delicious. You are nasty. I oh, cannot really believe good. you would do such a thing. It was really, really good. <laughs> I did not know you put pineapple on that. I think that's pretty gross. <laughs> well, you think the whole thing is gross and I think the whole thing is delicious. You'll, you'll just steam. put anything on pizza. Anything. No, that was a very refined pizza. I would argue that I would not put just anything on pizza. I put anything on my pizza. Your pizza was end. pretty exciting. I had all the things on it. Because everybody, I, it, I was like the last one to go. Everybody had done theirs already. So I was just like, ah, whatever else I can find here. Let's go a little crazy. Mm -hmm. It was only like half of a pizza anyway. So. Oh yeah, because we split a pizza, yeah. pizza crust. <laughs> what did you say? I was starting to say we started to split a pizza, pizza dough. Pizza dust? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How's your um, boy over there coming? He's good. He's real good. Got any ideas for, you know, making him... Or like refining him more? More refined. Well, I've gotten my sketch kind of done. I'm reviewing it now just to make sure it's all the appropriate sizes and dimensions. The mm -hmm. head is a little... Not right, but I'm gonna go in now and do a layer. A little not right. That's just, um, that's just lines. And I'm going to lighten the opacity on that layer and do it all on a new layer. What exactly is not right? Hmm, I can't put a finger on it, which is probably why I'm not going to be able to fix it the way I want to be. But what you gonna do, you know? I feel like this is gonna be our magnum opus. Oh, yeah? I think this is gonna be the best thing we've done yet. Oh, that's exciting. You know, it might also be fun to do a little in-between help out, like some, some critiques, you know? Kind of at the end of the episode, we like to look at each other's oh, yeah. work, but we might be able to help each other out further with uh, some extra little help. I'm that's a great idea. I'm gonna actually combine these. That thing's getting a little, getting a little messy over here. Uh-oh. That's no good. I've, uh, I, I do realize that I'm uh, doing what I'm doing right now wrong, but I need to cut this shape out before I can fix the bottom. Uh, if anybody's watching this and they're like, you're, that's, no, that's mm -hmm. not how that that's works. That's a no there. I do, I know. This frill, like the bottom of this frill shape right now needs some help. Putting so much work into this frill, but honestly, it, it's gonna be a big part of the portrait. I mean, that, so. that frill is a pretty big frill, so I could see that being an important aspect. Exactly. Of this. Honestly, it's like, spend time on it. I just came up with this whole idea just so I could draw this cool frill. Oh, yeah? <laughs> pretty much. That's what it feels like. Just been working on this. You were just like, I have an idea to draw a frill, but I need a really good excuse. You can't just go around drawing frills just for the heck of it. No. Absolutely not. It's ridiculous. Can't just can't just frill it up whenever you feel like. Absolutely not. I'm very excited for my fox boy. I'm excited for him. Now too. we both did male male animals here. You know, you got this masculine How blue general. How do you know that's general. a boy fox? Mine? Yeah. Because I'm giving him the masculine clothing of the era. That the the men of old wore. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Like we neither of us did like Victorian gowns. Yes. Ah, oh, I was like, I know this is a male bull, right? Like, just look at him. Clearly. Clearly, he's got the the big the big horns. Yeah. And only the big the male bulls got that, of course. I don't know if that's true. 
Now I'm thinking I'm about an this. Animal I'm, like, Is this a cow? <laughs> I'm an animal scientist. I'm an animal scientist, I know. Trust me, I'm a professional. I only knew for the 4 H kids. I wasn't one of them. They would be able to tell me. Um, well, either way, you're going to make it like this masculine general, right? Mm -hmm. That's the, the basic idea. Yeah, I don't think there were a lot of women generals back then. No, but they would have done great things if those dang men hadn't been so controlling of the military. <sighs> this is what we got to do the military ourselves. No one else allowed in, boys only. Boys club. Boys killing club only. Oh, only. We're like, bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, now I can fix my fix my frill, as I like to say. That's what I say. Um, how though? How? Oh my gosh, Abby. Ben, did you fix it? Yeah, I think this does work. I think this like makes sense, right? Oh, why? Why is that? Why? Why that? Why that happening? I don't know. What's happening? I think this works. It's kind of hard to tell, but I will make it work. You've got this. Maybe. Don't, don't put too, too much faith in me yet. <laughs> you haven't seen, you haven't seen what I've seen on my screen. And there's a lot to see. I need to zoom out. I'm getting too tunneled vision. Ah, uh, me too. I literally was just zooming out as you said that. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think this does kind of work. I don't know if the angles are right, but who does? Well, we're gonna go with it. I like that. It's good philosophy. Who knows anyway? I'm hmm. doing a separate layer over my sketch layer, which is just lines. I don't normally do that, but I figure since we're gonna be putting so much extra time and effort into this one that I would. All the extra time. Oh, my time. proportions are wildly off here. Well, well maybe you'll be able to fix them later. This needs to come out over there, I think. This is why I should have taken longer on my sketch layer, but one must progress eventually, right? I think you will be fine. You will be able to fix and correct them here in a moment, but it is time for us to do our finishing touches at least uh -oh. for this time. <laughs> See, we'll have plenty of time. Like mine is nothing right now, but it's all about pre-planning here. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta get that done at least. Right, and this is just the pre-planning stage. So we'll see where we get with this. I mean, given enough time, they're going to look incredible. So rather than saying to you right now, what are you doing for your finishing touches? I say to you, Ben, where do you find yourself now? This is true, yeah. I'm, I'm not doing really any finishing touches. I am uh, just kind of getting the bottom portion of this ruffle to uh, make it appear more three-dimensional. That is where I currently find myself. What about you? Where do you find yourself right now? I find myself putting in some lines to represent the bowl, as if to say, the beginning. <laughs> uh, if, if, as if to say, this could be a bowl, maybe. Who knows? I think my proportions are just wildly off. Though. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see. We're not here to do it all in one shot. That's not the point. It's about where you're going, Abby, not where you are. Exactly. Yours is looking great, though. I love it. Thanks. Yours is looking very good. I am way worse for wear than you. Yours looks amazing already. No, yours is really good. Your frills are on point. <sighs> All about the frills mm -hmm. over here. Frill Town, USA. Well, Frill Town, Victorian England, maybe. Right, right. Although mine, I did not specifically look up Victorian England. I believe that you did. I just said Victorian general portrait. Victorian general portrait, yes, of course. Um, I just kind of looked around for, I, I knew what I wanted, but I didn't mm. know what it was called necessarily. Gotcha. So I was like, you know, some Renaissance era paintings. Hmm. Um, I think I searched aristocratic portrait and that came up with a few. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Some very early work here, but some early good work. 
Right. We're you building know, the strong this foundation. One, this is one to take our time on, because we're we're trying to take our, you know, to come out on the other end of this one with something we like, hence taking the extra, the extra time. Cool. Well, next time we will continue on our animal portraits. Yeah. I really like your lions that you got there. My lions? My yeah. lions? It's a bull, Ben, not lions. Ha, 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 ha. It looks really good. Thanks. It looks really, really good. Thanks.